<laughs> Have a good night. Good evening. I'd like to welcome everyone. Thank you. This is the resuming meeting uh, from the workshop previously. We've already done the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, we do have the presence of a full board at this time. Uh, if I may uh, ask no, item number three, invitation to the audience for public comment. Board, staff, public, anyone like to address, comment, anything to make or share at this time, please do so. I, I, I got a short comment. I had a group that we all know come to me the other day, and they are hell-wet for leather that we're going to try to work out a deal with the federal government to do a giant holding pond out there in the country. So you know what Whitey's been talking about? Yes. There's a whole group like the Port Isabel guys that just think we need to start pushing it. So I said I would bring it up at the meeting because they think the feds will pay for it. Okay. So let's no, I just told you what you told me. <laughs> no, are any, asked me to say. Are any of them no grant prizes? No discussion. Huh? Yeah. Are any of them no grant prizes? So. <laughs> no discussion. Yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll keep on going. <laughs> Uh, anyone else have anything you'd like to add or state? Very, very quickly, uh, I was contacted by only one person. Oh, okay. And uh, <laughs> made up a broad valid point. They were driving by through Port Israel along the median, and the sprinkler system in the median was like a car wash. <laughs> it was broke spraying onto the elm. So they happened to be following one of the district trucks, water district trucks. So they followed mine and stopped and said, what's going on? Don't you see that? They said, well, that is the city of Fort Isabel, their responsibility, et cetera. And their comment was, well, there was conserved on the door, conserved water on the door. So <laughs> my comment is that it may not be our job, but yet sometime I think it would be wise if we notify. Just notify the appropriate people if we have trucks out there. It made sense to me, so I just want to make that public comment. Thank you for all you. Thanks for being out there for the Thank you. Uh, moving on to item number four, consider and discuss for possible approval the moment of the minutes of the workshop meeting and regular meeting on uh, May 23rd, 2018. Everyone had a chance to read. Any comments? I just had a changes? comment on. Uh, I noticed on the page two of two about three quarters of the way down on the raw water rate recommendations. I think we've changed that figure <coughs> now. Uh, that number is no longer 66 cents, I believe. So that's the only thing I know. And I'll move to approve. Okay. With uh, correction. Motion to approve with, with the, correction. the corrections made by Mr. Avalos. Second. Uh, second made by Mr. D. Wells. Are all those in favor? Aye. They are. Any opposed? None. Motion carried. Thank you. Uh, yes, for the record, Rick yeah, abstains. Was so not pleasant at the meeting. Moving to item number five, general manager's report, annexation. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Chairman, members of board, I'd like to have a committee uh, annexation committee meeting in the next couple of weeks. So uh, you all are available. The uh, reason being that the city uh, Laguna Vista approached us on the 23 acres that are. Planning, they're planning to develop on the south side of the uh, High 100 in the Middle East. Yeah, we call that. So it's they just want to discuss. Basically, isn't it though? Yes. So they just want to discuss that with the committee. So we start off with that, and then after that, we we'll bring to the board the outcome of it. Okay. So you give us a date. Uh, Maybe the 19th? Well, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm going to be here the 19th. Today is just us coming, coming on. Oh, what? Oh. Uh, what the? Uh, I'm sorry. You want to do a Thursday or Tuesday? Uh, well, that's what you're pointing at. Just give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the We've whole got an odor control oh, at four. Oh, this is coming. We have an odor oh, control at four. Okay. You clock that day. Yeah. You and her. This is on the piece that's out there for the Frank and Jerry that gave them that they're going to put the Nature Center deal on. Yeah. I thought we I thought we already had the meeting. Well, we wanted to call if we're going to get up again. We're going to say that the board is. 
Yeah. Isn't that when we said we'd do 10 acres or something, but not the whole thing? Right. Okay. Um, yeah, just just make sure you remind us. Yeah, I will point first uh point first about the other two. Moving on, uh, item seven, district engineer's report, what is the wastewater treatment plant construction progress? All right. Yeah, the first item, of course, did we uh, approve uh, we're, uh, we're at 82% yes. complete. Oh, we did the workshop, but did we need a minute? Yes. We'll tell the changes. Yeah. Okay. 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 I just wanted to uh, recognize some of the employees that have taken the initiative for upgrading some of the equipment that we have, some of the uh, uh, work that they've done is, is really excellent. Uh, some of that equipment looks like it's new within a couple of years uh, when it's already 8 to 20 years old, you know. And uh, I just thought they needed some recognition, uh, talking with uh, the general manager we decided to bring it to you all so that you all could view uh, some of the work that they've done along with, I know that some of this work is, is actually part of their work, but it also shows some of the cost savings that uh, is being undertaken when they do some of this project. And so not all the employees are here, but uh, I'm, I'm hoping that you all have had a chance to look at, uh, at the report. And I just want to call out their names and let them stand, uh, those that are here. But I'll call all the individuals involved uh, from the um, distribution department, uh, Joel uh, Lopez as manager. And then he has uh, Juan Antonio Aguilera. Uh, unfortunately, he's not here today. Federico Cantu is. Uh, Cesar Ochoa uh, is not here. Juan Mayorga. Uh, they have taken the uh, prime pipe pump and really did a great job with that, as well as the excavator, uh, the light generator, and then one of the utility trucks. And then in the uh, construction department uh, from uh, Santiago Cabo Ochoa uh, department, we have Pedro Gonzalez. Uh, Arno Martinez is not here. These two gentlemen uh, climbed the tower to put the antenna back up there. Yeah. I, I, I saw that. <laughs> How was that? I, I got weak knees thinking about it. <laughs> 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 right. So who climbed the tower? Both of you? You did? Yeah. Uh, you yeah, need to stand up. You need to stand up twice. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I would note on there, uh, sir, that. You know, you show us the cost of nineteen hundred dollars for the two harness kits. But yes. that really isn't the cost associated with that. That's just an investment. That right. you know, that's correct. Right. Harness would be used for everything else. So y'all save us money that we'd already approved to expend uh, <coughs> before. So thank you very much. Absolutely, thank you. And then uh, two of the other gentlemen that are not here, Pete Loera and uh, Pete Delgadillo. I'm sorry, he is here. Uh, they also help with the uh, putting up the fence in Laguna Vista, 1900 feet of fence. Uh, the new airline, and that was really a, a great job they did uh, on that airline. They fabricated everything themselves as far as the, the tubes and the... Uh, I, I need to ask them, do you all know how much more fence we need to put? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And then the, clar the uh, clarifier at uh, Isla Blanca, clarifier number three, they, they put those uh, slush tubes and the crossbars on there. Uh, along with them, on that particular project, there was also uh, from Mark Garza department. Uh, unfortunately, they're not here. Uh, Eric Albino, Jose Garza, and Jesus Loera uh, that helped uh, rehabilitate that clarifier. And then uh, in the electrical department, 
Jimmy Pierro, uh, Joy Lopez is not here, Daniel Gonzalez is. They also went in and did a job that, uh, at the uh, Port Isabel sewer treatment plant. Uh, there was a uh, electrical job that unfortunately was not foreseen, I guess, when they were doing the, the estimate for the construction. So they had to go in there instead of doing a, a, uh, a change order, they went ahead and, and did it themselves. They took up an electrical line that was in the ground and put it about the, on the building there, the aeration building. So not only did we save money, but we saved a half of a change order. Yes, sir. Which was a huge one. Yeah. Yeah. That that was over seventy grand in yeah. yeah. savings. Easy over seventy grand in savings. There's Thank a you. lot of other work that that is not seen. Uh, some of it was just it's minor, but it's still uh, noticeable. Like in the uh, the woody lane, uh, that was they had a lot of brushes and trees that were already coming into the uh, lane itself, and they went out there and cleaned that up. Uh, there was uh, from Noy Cantu's uh, water plant department. There was Albert Perez and Jesus Torres. And from the collection department, Joey Salinas. There was Daniel Rodriguez and Victor Castillejas. And then from Mark uh, Garza, Arnold Lopez. They all went out there. They pitched whenever they had a few hours and helped uh, clean up that, that thing. Uh, it not only saved money, but it provided a lot of teamwork. And that's something that uh, we're glad it's happening here. And we like to see the fact that they're really interested. They take a lot of pride in the work they do. And we just wanted to let you all know uh, how proud we are of them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to make sure that everyone is, re that everyone is recognized for the above and beyond. And, and again, we appreciate all that you all do exceptionally have done on this and to all the staff and work and dedication for the water district because we all work hard to make a better district. I, I think we get a key word that said teamwork because I see a lot of teamwork going on there. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, gentlemen, for listening. Again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, moving forward, item 7, District Engineer's Report, Port Isabel Wastewater Treatment Plan Construction Progress and Clean Water SRF Financial Application Status. Okay. Yeah, the first job, you know, based on the last invoice, uh, they're 82% complete um, for the total work that's been performed. Uh, right now they're working on the uh, finishing out the electrical. Um, that's going to be the last part of the job, and we're probably looking at doing a startup on the plant in July. So, it's, you know, it's, it's getting pretty close. And uh, one item we're, we're talking about is uh, since we have that sludge holding tank coming up in a separate contract, we're thinking of, you know, no sense putting in new pavement that can, that's going to get torn up under a construction contract in, you know, January. So we might be looking at, you know, doing a deduct on paving just to defer it until the, the, the next phase of construction is complete. So that, that's just one of the items we're, we're discussing at this time. Um, but, you know, that, that, that might be about, you know, a $50,000 deduct. So that, that's, that's, that's what we're discussing at this point. But other than that, everything's running smooth. Um, and then as far as the, the next item, if there's no questions, it's uh, just the update on the Clean Water SRF financial application. Um, we're, we're, we're doing that submittal on, on the Texas Water Development Board website. We've uh, completed the financial portion and the legal portion. And the last part remaining is the project update, which is kind of the engineering side. And so that's the part I'm working on right now. So we can hit submit and start the clock for their review, you know, from the 18 list stations and the sludge holding tank at 40 so, uh wastewater plant. So that, that's where we're at right now. And yeah, that concludes the report. Thank you, Charles. Uh, item 8, Director of uh, Finance Report, Budget Calendar. So uh, in, your, in your packet, you have a uh, proposed uh, budget calendar. Um, We've already uh, met with staff, uh, discussed what the, uh, the, the project is, is going to go, um, how the, uh, the, the budget is going to be laid out, what, uh, what, what uh, um, I expect from them for, for forms and backup uh, that, that the news group uh, turn in. We uh, uh, are going to be reviewing uh, requests um, beginning uh, next week. And uh, then we're going to set up individual meetings uh, for for one-time expenditures to uh, <coughs> to discuss uh, IT and, and staffing requests. 
Uh, so that's with the uh, to be determined as things are. Those are individual meetings with department heads. And then uh, working towards um, uh, budget uh, department meetings uh, with the with the budget committee to discuss the uh, uh, entire but uh, departmental budget in whole. And then um, um, finishing up at the end of July with a uh, budget workshop, um, a Saturday uh, uh, budget workshop, a Wednesday uh, budget workshop to uh, on August the eighth to uh, discuss uh, so you can see the changes that that are come from the uh, from the first budget workshop, and then uh, hopefully on schedule uh, for an August twenty second adoption of the budget. I would rather not do a Saturday workshop. Mm -hmm. I'm um, here in Mr. Christensen's comments earlier. Um, it was necessary to do that, or I can't do it during the work day. It was a. It, 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 was it a, takes a few, hours, a few hours. A few hours. We've taken it out of the past, but that's, that's my question. Uh, my preference at this time that we would stick to weekdays. We think, because it does take like two to three hours to discuss, you know, go back and forth on this. Right. Do a couple hours and then or an evening. if we need to, to do yeah. another one, we'll like follow up and, and do another couple hours after that. Well, I'm going to speak for myself, Jeff, and I, I have this question, why don't we do it on Saturday? I mean, it's all a work day to me yeah. during the week, but, you know, so is that going to leave with, if we do it? During a weekday, does that take you know, full staff away from their duties? So they can't. At some point, they can't, it will. They can't function. This they can't function without. No, no, they can. Yeah, we can. It's just a matter that if it's a longer workshop, so we, well, we're three hours maybe. Yeah, that's different than what we've done. Well, I'm uh, not told totally opposed. I'm not totally opposed okay. to it. I'm just so what does the rest of the board think? What uh, how much staff do we need for that for this workshop uh, on staff, Saturday? Uh, we we have all the management. Well, uh, usually, I would rather not have it. I mean, good. I mean, well, as long as we have a good budget uh, numbers, I think the board will. If we keep our planning such as we're doing right now, we should be able. To, we're, we're, this is by far a better position in planning than I've ever seen yeah. uh, on this. So I think if we can tighten it up and get things, okay. you know, keep working on it in, in this planning process as we're doing now, I think we can knock it out in a, in a workshop before a regular meeting. Good as enough, as, as many, with, uh, as many with people the, are requesting. With the budget committee, as long as yes. uh, you know, we come to the conclusion of having everything in there and, and, uh, and that's kind of justifying. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, I that, and I'm on the budget committee, and that's what yeah. we've done in the past. We go in there and and uh, staff presents the proposed budget, but we we had to uh, go in there and almost go department by department. So what about this item? What about that item? Mm -hmm. Can we live with this? Can we do more? And things like that. So yeah, that's, that's if that's done, that's really not my position to right. do that. I'd rather staff yeah. have that all sorted out. And we have done that before. 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 Yeah. yeah, we have done that before when uh, staff and uh, administration agrees to all what what you know come up with the numbers and then uh, present it to the committee. But our prior and finance director was our past finance director was taking more of a direct direction with all departments and tell them what to do and not what to do as opposed to working with each department what they really need. Okay. Well, that that uh, budget workshop for the weekend, it, it, we can change it. Uh, How about the? Can we do it on the 26th, on the Thursday? That'll be the day after the meet, regular meet. Uh, Like I don't think we can knock it out in an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to take more than that. So I'd rather do it a separate day and focus on that. That's fine. You can schedule it for the 26th? 26th? I think you'll have a lot better. Do you, do you prefer a morning or an afternoon? 
after the week. Okay. I'm, I'm okay. Any so it, it, it's pretty much going to be the whole you, you know, the whole morning or the whole. So like morning. start at three o'clock. No, one o'clock. One o'clock. Or or we could even do a lunch workshop as we've done that in the past. Why not? Yeah. Uh, I think that after we have, uh, you know, you have the budget committee, which is going to take the first run of this after staff has put it together. Mm -hmm. We'll have a better feel for what the full board needs to be focused on. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, maybe if y'all prepared that uh, it's not much time, July 12th or July 15th, you know, not much time to get y'all prepared, but hopefully we can get something cranked out tonight. Well, we don't have to post that till the 23rd, do we? No, and that, that is my point. Oh, okay. That is my point. Thank you. That, you know, following the workshop, then that CBD can be defined as to the date. And you've had one proposal already, uh, a date, and so we'll go from there. Okay. No, so. Uh, it's all in budget. We're just here to work right. with you. Mm -hmm. So July 26th at, uh, at uh, noon? Uh, yes. Okay. And I want pizza. I want these sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. A wing. Okay. You got it. Well, maybe. Does that conclude right. yours, Eddie? That was good. Yes. Okay. Thank you. That, that concludes that agenda item. Uh, we will then be moving on to uh, item number nine. Discuss and approve a resolution of the Laguna Monterey Water District Board of Directors authorizing an application to the Te uh, Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, TCQ, for approval of certain A water projects and issuance of tax exempt revenue bond notes to fund such projects, authorizing certain designated officials to complete and file the TCEQ application and all required documentation to the TCEQ, finding the resolution to have been considered. Uh, pursuant to the laws governing Open Meetings Act, uh, providing a servability clause and establishing an effective date, resolution number 160618. Mr. Gomez? Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I spoke with Noel Valdez, uh, the uh, bond counsel with uh, McCall and Parker. Uh, he talked, I had already spoken to TCEQ, but he called them up and he got exactly, he wrote the resolution <coughs> uh, when, from his understanding and, and conversing with uh, TCEQ. And they're asking for a resolution uh, since we're looking at doing a, uh, a revenue note uh, that's going to extend to 10 years. They are asking for a lot of documentation that I'm compiling and I'm putting together to send to them. Uh, along with the resolution. And so that's why we submitted this. I move we approve. Second. Uh, motion made by Mr. Houston, second by Mr. Avalos for approval. Are all those in favor? Aye. Aye. They are. None opposed. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what, how, how fast do they think the funding can be on this? Uh, if everything is in order as they, as they uh, want it, uh, it can take 45 days. Otherwise, it would take up to six months. Oh, that's not a game changer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to try to <coughs> get it expedited so, the right. way they request it. I've got a list that uh, that we uh, took off the, the website. I've been talking to one of the uh, representatives from TCQ, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, I've already asked him, once I get everything together, if I can send it to him, he'll do a preliminary review on it, and he'll tell me if everything is okay, and so we can go ahead and ask. Uh, ask for an expedited service. In order to proceed and keep moving fast on this, I guess the yes, sir. kind of fast tracking. Can uh, we use some of our uh, some of our uh, funds now, some of our fund balance, and repay it back? So if we want to start on this project in the next couple of weeks, I guess go ahead and get your meters and everything ordered. Can we go ahead and use some of those funds to, re to repay them back? When you get your bond money or, or not, I guess. What, what I know is that we can. We could. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah, reimbursement. Reimbur yeah. So I would recommend, because uh, I, I think you've got a million dollars in there that you, you could basically get this project started uh, until you get your full funding, would be my suggestion. We have purchased some uh, <coughs> uh, a 
small quantity of meters at this time so that we can go ahead and start replacing those meters that are starting yes. to fail and have a few in stock. So we've, we've ordered 5 eighths, 1 inch, 2 inch, 4 inch, 6 inch, right. and we have those in stock. But yes, the answer I to your question. I think we can go ahead and start, you know, yes. really get the project, kind of get everyone going, get things, at least get your product ordered, get everything going, and, and uh, you know you're going to get the money, so yes. uh, would, would be my comment and suggestion. I would like legal input on that. The, that, was my, that was my next point, uh, Mr. Wells. Uh, I do have a contract that uh, we have been looking at internally that we were getting ready to submit to uh, legal counsel for his review uh, with Ferguson to make sure that everything is, uh, is up and up. With Ferguson? Besides the up and up with Ferguson to make sure that my question is we're discussing that we're applying for funds take a resolution, it's going to take 45 days to six months. Of course, the suggestion was that we go ahead and use our revenue, our general fund, for expenditures. And it was just stated that there's going to be a reimbursement <coughs> agreement uh, that would, you know. You just passed a resolution. You, okay, you passed a resolution, but I'm a little uncomfortable with that number comes. Your, the application process is what it's going to be, right? And if you, you are, to some extent, risking that you will not be reimbursed for that the, that expenditure if you do not get the funding from uh, the Water Development Board. However, your preliminary discussion with the Water Development Board as you're preparing to submit for the application is is a strong indication whether or not you're going to get funded. Uh, they're, they're not going to waste your time or waste their own time and say, mm -hmm. go ahead and, and apply. They don't believe you're a strong candidate. They're, they're pretty straight shooters. And we already passed that point. Right. We feel that we're a good candidate for this. So I feel comfortable and I, I support moving forward as soon as possible to get this project going. So when y'all, my opinion, when y'all have Review the contract with Ferguson and everything looks good. Uh, bring back a resolution that if you want to, if that's what's required for us to go ahead and authorize. That's this resolution right now, sir. No, the res that, this resolution was two of them. Yes. Or a resolution for yes. Yes. Okay, but I'm talking about the resolution. Is there a resolution needed for the district to extend funds? No. No. And looking no. for a Reimbursement? Just board board authorization. You have reserve. You have a million dollar then, reserve. Then, that, then, not, sorry, then it's not. Then it's not a resolution required. Just board action for so an agenda item to come to us. Correct. Okay. Oh, one other point, okay. uh, gentlemen. I have been communicating with our financial advisor, uh, with Adrian uh, Galvan, and he has also been involved with TC2, and uh, he has. Made, drawn out the uh, bond schedule as, as we have it now, and as it will look like in the future that uh, we're submitted to TCEQ, that's something that they're requiring. Uh, I did tell TCEQ before that we did have a financial advisor. When I mentioned the Strada and the Horsa, they said, oh, good, uh, no problem. Then. So they, they were pretty comfortable with so that. So then by the next meeting, uh, maybe you need to uh, put it as a, you'll know f how far along you are on this, and then if you need to do a uh, budget amendment uh, to move some money around, I guess, probably. Yes. But you probably really do need a budget amendment, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yes, move some money around. We do have some uh, numbers already uh, available for the next meeting, uh, expenditures for, for June, so we present them to the board and, and you know, move forward on it. And as far as as far as, uh, <coughs> as far as knowing when or if we're going to get the <coughs> monies for sure, uh, is that information going to change in the next 30 days? Do you think we'll know any more in 30 days from now? I think so. Uh, I believe that if we do, if there is something in the documentation it was submitted that TCQ said no, we'll just go ahead and. But the reason I asked that is that because it takes care of those concerns, and I'm not sure if in 30 days there's going to be much of an impact we're going to make just moving forward right away. And if we can wait those 30 days and we have a little bit more certainty, I think everybody would feel more comfortable with that. Okay. Uh, 
And talking with Adrian, he doesn't feel that there's any problem with it. Okay. Well, if we know something in two weeks, if there's more certainty in two weeks, then we talk about it then. I yes, sir. I feel more comfortable extending this conversation at the time. We've already passed <coughs> this agenda item, and we've already acted on it. Now this conversation has come along after the fact. It's okay. off topic. Let's move on to item 10, then. Uh, consider and discuss for possible award of construction contract for the Port Isabel monofill methane monitors. Bid number <coughs> WW. <coughs> Sorry, Mr. Chairman, there, there is this resolution yes. required for TCQD. You just want to table that? We no, passed we, it. We, we already passed it. You did pass it. Okay. Yeah. We, I wasn't. No, we already passed it in that conversation. But we missed after. Oh, okay. That's my okay. Item number 10, consider and discuss the <coughs> possible award of construction contract to. Uh, for Port Isabel <coughs> Monofill Methane Monitors, bid number WW-18-05-01. We advertise and request for a sealed bid for the construction of the Port Isabel Monofill Methane Monitors. Uh, recommendation is going <coughs> with Ferguson Service System. Uh, I'm helped Char Charles with this uh, bid, and he will continue the presentation with the uh, further details on the savings on the uh, <coughs> yeah and as you're aware that the change order request mm -hmm. was for the 147,000 and our low bid on this item was 94,450 so so we basically uh you know accomplished that goal of putting out for bid and getting the price down we're back to that hundred that was on the board six months ago that's yeah. correct so we were right. able to deliver from that motion to approve Motion for approval by uh, Mr. Wells and seconded by D. Wells. Are all those in favor? Aye. Uh, not opposed. Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, moving to item number 11. Consider and discuss for possible approval budget <coughs> adjustments. So, um, I have before you uh, several uh, uh, budget adjustments. Um, some of these are, are uh, authorizations uh, that, that uh, the board has previously uh, given us, but uh, they need uh, your approval um, because they're, it involves moving money between uh, departments. So, uh, so the first one is moving uh, money within the uh, the uh, the uh, O3 uh, infrastructure uh, department, uh, capital projects uh, department. That is uh, for the purchase of the yes. water rights. Uh, are you? Are we doing more than one budget amendment here? There's a field agenda yes. item, so we're we're not labeled individually. So we're specifically discussing yes. the one on page one of one. There's uh four budget uh, amendments here, mm -hmm. and uh, previously the board did approve uh, financing on them, but the okay. adjustment okay. needed to be made and. Eddie wanted to present to the board back the, the budget amend uh, adjustments. Oh, it's tab 11. So y'all can see each one accordingly. Yeah, there's four. <coughs> there's four. The, the board had authorized uh, the, these, these purchases and these movements, uh, uh, these purchases before. And so this is, uh, I'm, I want to bring you the. Uh, the information that the financial uh, impact so that you can uh, authorize the transfer of money that's needed to uh, to proceed with these uh, projects. I move we approve. I'll second that. Okay. I'm sorry. There was a motion. I don't know who the first was. Motion made by uh, Mr. Houston, and there was a second by was it Ms. Avalos? Yes. Are all those in favor? Aye. They are. None opposed. Motion carries. Thank you. We are moving to item 12. To consider and discuss for possible approval of the financial report for April 2018. Um, in your packet, I included a, 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 some financial summaries um, for the uh, for the general fund to uh, um, help make the information a little bit easier to understand. Does anyone have any questions? Does anyone have any specific questions? Uh, no, I like the the presentation. I really, it really nice. a lot about, a lot easier to to yes. follow. Uh, <coughs> the only or one of the things I did notice um, is um, that we, and I'm not sure how to calculate this because I'm, I don't work out there, so I just 
notice we're a little shy on the on the maintenance department, uh, and we seem to do or be doing more of it. Uh, uh, and I don't know how the rest of the board feels about allocating any more money to our maintenance, uh, or it could very well be maintenance and construction. I'm not sure. What What are the difference in the line items? Because there's one that says maintenance and construction, and another one is just maintenance. Uh, maintenance and construction is the... So we're talking about the... Uh, the department. The, the, the expenditure department maintenance. Yeah, the expenditure. Yeah. So uh, expenditures for that department. That's that's the uh, they're the ones that take care of the vehicles. The, the that's the automotive part. Okay. And the maintenance. The construction is the the buildings. Uh, yeah, yeah, buildings. Okay. They're the ones that are taking care of anything that that we need <coughs> internally. Do you feel that we have enough money allocated on, in the maintenance department? At this time, yes, sir. Okay. I think that's kind of the conversation that we should come up with all of in our workshop. The, the budget, budget workshop. Really okay. Yeah, you could bring these things up in the workshop and, and do that. And it's like you just grant glaring to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. To see that. And, you know, the budget workshop, I'd like to know how we spend some weight on the administration for the budget percent. Well, I did, I did look <laughs> into that a little further. <laughs> and, and, and I think we're going at the budget. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay. There, there is a reason for that. Yeah. I found yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, this is an action item. I'll move to approve. Approve. A motion for approval made by uh, Mr. Avalos, seconded by Mr. Houston. Are all those in favor? Aye. Aye. There are any opposed? None. Motion carries. Thank you. Item 13, consider and discuss for possible approval of work order number four with Garver for water plant two residuals uh, management. Before we get started with this, when did we decide that we were going to dredge the pond? In February. We didn't decide we were going to dredge the pond. We discussed it. We, we discussed, discussed uh, yes. We, we never took action. We never said definitively anything. We said, what are we going to do? Show us options and how we can drain the swamp, you know, the flood spot. One of, one of the... We never took action. Well, let's look at the minutes because they're in there. That we were going to dredge the pond. We discussed options available for that. My understanding is that we're going to move forward with this in uh, February, and we didn't um, because we can't afford to build the 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 sludge drain uh, basins or whatever. I recall the conversation, okay. but at that time we were. At that time, we were discussing options. You said maybe we dredge it. I said maybe we need to dike yeah. through the middle of it, and drain one half, and clean it out, or clean the other half. And then we also discussed well, we can't build a whole holding pond in a new area, but maybe we can go ahead and burn it up, or we can then we use some of the residual from the, 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 the settling pond. The pond is water. Well, I mean, r right now the project at the capital improvement plan is still listed as a sludge drain bed, but as far as I don't know if we would formally approve the capital project to essentially get the land application set up and, and the reservoir dredging. It's basically a modification of scope to I'm really I'm meet still, our needs. I'm still yeah. going to the fact that we're going to be discussing dredging the settling plant. Correct. And I don't recall when we decided that that's what we were going to do. I just recall that we were exploring options. I had a conversation with you. What, what other options can we do? to take a hand it other than going out there with an excavator long reach it doesn't work yeah well my my understanding of this is that number one you have to dredge it no you don't have to dredge it no we haven't defined that we haven't defined that we have to dredge it we haven't just gotten the information to where we know the most practical and feasible way to alleviate the build up of sludge over the extra 90 years we've been in use Okay. I don't know. I, I talked to, talk to, talk to Charles about this, and my understanding is that this pond needs to be dredged. It's at a point that it needs to be dredged. That's yours and Charles' conversation, okay. but the okay. board never said dredge the pond. Okay. So how do you propose to clean it up? I don't. I propose that they bring us proposals 
of how to do that. Well, <clears throat> one of the... You print for a living, I ride horses for yeah. a living. It's their job to tell us how to clean up the pond. Yeah, and my understanding of trying to clean up that pond is you either dredge it and you create those berms uh, or you build the, 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 what do you call it, the basins, the, what do you call them? The what, drain bed. The drying bed, right. right. And so we know we can't afford the drying bed. I just, I'm not comfortable moving forward with this action item based on the fact that I did not personally or recall taking action as a board to say we were going to dredge the pond. Well, let me ask you this. So Are you prepared to take action to dredge the pond? There's that people pump? smarter than you and I in these things to do that. And you and Charles having that conversation is great. I see the merit of it, but I am not comfortable that there's not a better way to drain or, or take care of the problem. Well, I, that I don't have an answer for. Mr. Carl, if I may, Mr. Cordell, I'll cover for the record. Good evening, everybody. Um, so in this work where the, the task number two is to develop dredging cost of maintenance, and that's part of that effort. Before a backhoe is ever even mobilized to the site, there's an effort to determine what that level of cost is for maintenance. So before we actually, again, uh, procure a contractor and sign a construction contract for anybody to mobilize the site, uh, it would be something that would be uh, investigated and evaluated, developed as a maintenance cost, and then presented to the board for authorization. And, and my understanding is we were going to do that back in February, and we tabled it. For what reason? Oh, the reason why we essentially we stopped work on on the flesh was because of the preliminary cost estimate coming in at four and that was much higher than what we were going to do. Well, that was a build out. Yeah, that was a different project. That was okay. that was build it and okay. not rehab the new one. Okay. Like right. old one. But right. so the original contract was for design and construction based services for drying bed of a certain size. And we got kind of sideways and it was determined that the drying bed of that size was going to be sufficient. And that's when we got into some options. And the reason we got into options was because of the planning opportunity that was presented to us through the Texas Water Development Board. So this is, in essence, taking a step back, um, doing an actual analysis for the residual, determining the cost of the maintenance. Um, a revised OPCC for what was then the cheapest option was an additional lagoon of similar size and, and, and makeup. And then, of course, with this all with land application permit and uh, application assistance. And then, assistance for one time review mention again, but this is an authorization to mobilize any contractor to proceed with it to, to do the legwork up front for it. To do the cost analysis, basically. Well, as, yeah, task two would be to sort of develop a maintenance item for it. Right so, long term? Plan or right, right. Okay. what the cost would be, what the method would be, first of all, what the cost would be for doing mm -hmm. that, and then what type of frequency you'd be looking at based on the flood production of that. And, and as far as cleaning it out, let's just call it cleaning it out, what other options do we have to clean it out? Dredging it is about it. No, you fix the problem. You fix the old problem that was created when you made one great big basin, by the way, that was on somebody else's land, part of it, and we had to buy more property to fix that. <laughs> years later. Now we have just one big basin with no control method. The, the drying bed that we was on a build before was in two or three sections where you could take and, and use one and then transfer it to another one to maintain the, the right. other one. Now that if we're going to take and clean out the pond, we have to have a control method in there to where it can be maintained in the same section as needed. So we don't have this one big pond to deal with. Right. I'm not really for this agenda item. I think what we're discussing here really should be done with the people in the business that come on out here, look at our problem, and give me some ideas of how to do this. And people in the business contractors will tell you how to fix the problem. Okay. And, and, I, and, I, and I don't want to say 100 grand. Am I assuming that Mr. Garber is not the person you're looking for? No. I okay. don't know that we're getting ahead of the horse. We're going to pay, no disrespect to them, they're the experts, but we're going to pay them something that staff can do and find somebody that's in the business to come out here and look at our problem and tell us how to fix it. Charles, can we do that? 
Is there other people you can contact to come and tell us how to fix this problem? Contractors. Well, I mean, that's, that's, it's, it's always the cost of doing in-house as an engineer or, or putting out the consultant for so, so that's so, one so, so so direction, basically. Well, <laughs> I mean, and I guess and I guess that's what I'm asking. Is this something we can do in house then? I mean the uh, I mean the land application. I would think it's working with CCQ and you know. Because I, I do together. recall I do recall back the last time we talked about this, and I suggested, hey, why don't you start applying for that permit? Right. And so and so is that something we have to job out, or can we actually do it in house? I would think that 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 part of it could be in house. Okay. One item of note here, Mr. Rose, is that this is not a request for additional funds. This is uh, an authorization to review our efforts for these tasks within the originally approved work order. Right. Mm -hmm. So this isn't. This, this was what was originally approved in, in work order number two was 147,250. Um, we've been paid for preliminary efforts. So it was 25,250. And so that leaves 122,000. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not following you. Was that, is that part of the work description that we're discussing in this agenda item? Well, what, so on this work order right here, there's a statement that is in the third paragraph that says this work order is intended to replace the existing work order number two, authorized on June 14th and 17th, and is within the original authorized fee amount. So we're not here to request additional money from the has this work order. Yeah, I'm sorry. So it, it's just authorization to review our efforts within that existing So office. basically the scope of services you're providing has changed from that? Correct. Okay. And we're actually, if you were to crank up the numbers, we're proposing on providing a savings to the district of just over $14,000 under the original effort to perform all of this as opposed to what was originally authorized. And this was already a budgeted item from back then? Yeah, the, the balance of Terry Fuller's this fiscal year was uh, was 139,000, and then we paid the 17,000 for preliminary. So our remaining balance is, you know, the difference right there. 122. Yeah, and so that essentially we'd be taking that 122 balance and reduce it down to this request for the next one. So I guess the question is, is this something that we want to authorize uh, Garber to do, or is this something we want to uh, just bring in house? Well, I don't think this is bringing in house. Well, again, this agenda item is discussing, correct me if I'm wrong, is primarily based on dredging the lagoon. And, and, and getting the application. still goes, and everything that leads up to it to, to do that. But then my, still my question comes back is, I do not recall board action saying that we were going to dredge the lagoon. It's one of the, one of the options we discussed. Okay. But we didn't have all the options brought to us. What you're telling me, is if part of your proposal is to take and seek out other methods to do that. And part of what I would really want is, is whatever is done that we just don't continue with a bad situation and that's just one large lagoon. Right. What I'm told, what I see is it was done wrong in the beginning because it didn't allow for routine or necessary maintenance. Well, I mean, the approach in the 80s would have been use that lagoon until it's full, you close it, and you build a new one. And so that could be an approach that we still take. Like the closure would be a, a cost in itself rather than just maintaining and keeping it open. And then, the, uh, of course, we still have to build a new lagoon. You know, still, we're getting back to the, the, the dredging of it, and it's where do we do with that material? Can that, that material but be put on our and, uh, and, well, the answer bed area? When we did do very limited, we did one sample analysis back in 2016. We had a red flag about arsenic, and so we did read or we completed that retest. I haven't received a report from PSI, but just from the, the email that I've gotten, yeah, you got a positive report, email. Yeah, we should not have any issues with arsenic. And you we have no, have it, it was all green light without the official report, but exactly. in this email, it says we're good to go. Right. So, so that, that sludge material in there can be just put in a dry bed area, the land that we just bought. The south. Well, basically, we don't have to think about because we've never had a hauling spots there because we've always kept the solids there on site. And so, essentially, with a land application permit, all we have to do is pull it out of the of the lagoon and spread it out on the same site, and there's no hauling. Ever. We just well, you would have there. to firm it up, right. and you would have to go ahead and put in your your what are those mats, you know, the silt yeah. uh, prevention, yeah, we don't, like we don't that, the, okay, and then. Yeah. The, the, the water that, that either leaches or flows out can go into the drainage ditch after it's taken, gone through that, right. 
that the filter retention. Yeah, and then, then one question we were just getting to is how much dewatering do you do? Because essentially what we're trying to do is recycle that water and put it back in a reservoir. So, you know, how much solids do you want to separate, you know, to spread it out versus... Well, then we have another problem I haven't heard the solution to is, yeah. what do we do when we go in there and we muddy that thing up? That's going to be muddier than an Oklahoma noodling contest. Well, yeah, we did it in 2014 <laughs> and we did it in 2016. <laughs> 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 that's, that's part of this effort. And, and the system in the district with the land application and the permit is to, to get that green light from PCB to say, how much can you apply and when can you apply it? Once we have that and once we have these first tasks, which is the residual data analysis and then the dredging cost of maintenance, we can develop a good game plan for capital investment or residual management in the next phase. But I can support that, and I know that we have to go, uh, we have to be compliant all the way through. But I still go back to the part where I think that we had somebody that's in the business to give us options. An old farmer can come up with it. There's other people who can do it. No disrespect. I mean, you keep us straight on the narrow, but at the same time, yeah. uh, I think what we're discussing here really isn't that complicated. And I really want to know what options are. It may be as simple as we just get the same guy with the hopper or the suction dredge that cleaned out the pump station, put it on a little barge and, 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 and right yeah, back. Perhaps we should just uh, table this item then. And no, I'm just pressing my. Okay. I, I cannot yeah. support this at this cannot point. Or, okay. I cannot. Okay. And for this, for this specific reason, because it, it specifies dredging. And I am not comfortable. I would want it to know. I can support a change order that really comes in and addresses what I'm bringing up now. But please show me all the options available. Well, uh, if it specifies dredging and we are not doing any dredging within the parameters of this item, then the okay. idea, then that's the problem. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Earthwork is really the cost component that caused the big increase, and the fact that the Bulls report is going to show that that Earthwork is a clay on site and it's an embankment for a flood lagoon. I mean, I think that's going to be a big shift in the preliminary numbers we've seen. Yeah, you just got those emails the 5th of June. Right, right. Yeah, so, so, so I think there's going to be a major change in the cost of the sure. um, with, with the one. I'm all right with that. I, I, my objection still is that it's specific to the and I don't, at this point, I don't want to narrow the scope of the effort to this okay. Now, Now, just getting back to the permit, uh, my understanding is if we get this permit, we don't have to pay outside sources to be hauling our stuff anymore. Well, yeah. Well, is that correct? Case, well, we've never hauled from the site because it's just sat there for 20 years and now the balloon's full. Um, but, but we can yeah, haul we stuff can to that. there with that permit. Well, well we prevent a new hauling cost. We, we may not have to haul it at all if we have the drying bed available. If we burn, if we can burn it up. I'm oversimplifying, but it's the way my mind's working. Burn it up where it can't go. Put in your silt retention to where you can pump it out, just like the dredges do it out here in the Santiago now. Mm -hmm. Put that dredge material into that holding pond. Let it settle out. <coughs> and flow into, you know, the the the, the, de the de tilted water flow into the drainage area. Or send it back to the reservoir. All right. We we pump it right back to the reservoir three. Then pump it right back to reservoir three. That's fine. But that again, we're going back to my Oklahoma <laughs> example. <laughs> and so, you know, then you just pump it out and get there. At some point, you really need to get that thing down low enough and you see what you're dealing with. Because right now that muddy stuff that we're dealing with now, if there's water over it, you really can't tell what you're accomplishing. So just to just to be clear, we don't want to do the dredging now, we need some more options. I I that is my preference. Okay. I don't want to specify dredging. I would like to know the options available to the district that will be the most effective and most cost effective method of removing the silt from the settling pond of plant number two. So task six could, could be reworked as a, as a, a dredging alternative effort, as opposed to a system of one-time dredging. 
Pass two is dredging costs. Uh, you know, we're 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 all into that. Well, that's that's based on the your sludge production and assuming everything else is fine. If that's what we're going to do, ultimately, right? right. If we could take and just somehow just get that water out of there, it would sure be a lot easier to handle that stuff. Well, that's that's where we get into. So, well, we've presented a couple options: the drying beds, centrifuge, everything else. The cheapest option was just another lagoon. Yeah, right. That's, that's, nothing's going to change that. Build another lagoon. Right. Let the one we've got dry out. Right. And in two years, when it's so dry, go in there with the front end loader and reuse it, and we just swap back and forth. Can we? Just, can we do just another earthen lagoon to serve the purpose? Does it have to be lined? Does it have to be concrete? So what does it have to be? Task three is exactly that: a revised obtain of the probable construction cost for that lagoon that we presented as the cheapest option before, but this time being armed with the geotechnical system, and hopefully reducing a considerable amount of the cost um, for uh, select fill, hauling in select fill, or hauling in clay, or and anything. And then that's just some studies that we need. The, the, the report we're getting now might want to tell us what that material uh, is there. It will. It it it's it. about meeting the fill yep. lining, the permeability requirements. So, so we don't have, have those put a lighter on it? No, 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 well, the soil that's out there today, you right. care if I use a tag, you've got your lining. Hard, hard, that's right. Yeah. 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 right. And that's part so of it. My simple mind visualizes the bulldozer out there, pushing it and building the berm. Packing at the same time you work. Okay. And when that's done, put your plumbing over to that and go to work. And let the old one dry out. Right. So why can we talk about the same thing that we talked about before that was crazy expensive with our drying beds because we were going to be so no, and so that's why we didn't bring in an alternative again for the actual dewatering mechanism. All it is is a revised opinion of probable construction cost for what is still the cheapest alternative, which is the lagoon, based on the geotech information that will be made available here shortly. Yes, sir. No, we have the space to do it. It's just, I mean, call it whatever you want. It's going to get dredged at some point. Yeah. Right. It still you know, needs to be done. It still needs to be dredged. Or you, either that or you can cover it off the street. Or build another one. Build another one. Yeah, you can build another one, but you're going to have to cover that yeah. one up eventually if you don't dredge it. Not necessarily. You can take them and move that dry dirt at that point <laughs> okay. and put it wherever you want it. You can use it to do it. Yeah. Okay. So this conversation comes up with questions of how we can do it better and cheaper. And that's my objection to this agenda. Right. Is two weeks enough time for come back with some options? Absolutely. Richard? Absolutely. So what I would suggest for the director of uh, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Uh, our uh, he will is uh, not in favor. Yes, sir. No, I'll make a motion. To motion to uh, dispose with the request that they bring back something along the lines of this discussion. Second. Okay. Second by Mr. Houston. The rest of the board. Oh, I guess it's just the same as table in it, you know. That's why I asked well, him if two weeks is in the room. We'll move it all the way. Just to prove that we're we get it. rid of it, and it doesn't. We're not tabling it and bringing back the same item as it's presented to us now. Okay, but you're asking for change. I'm just okay. Perfect. Okay. okay. Come back clean. All right. I'm okay with that. Right. I, I think this could be good. just a whole lot simpler. <coughs> all, all are uh, inter and disapproval, so uh, the motion item does not show at this time. Thank you. Thanks for listening. And uh, we'll come back. We'll revisit this, rewrite <laughs> this, uh, and, and go to the next uh, scenarios. Thank you, Richard, for your time. Moving to item 14, consider and review expenditure for May 16th through the 31st, 2018. Any questions about anyone in particular of the expenditures? Otherwise, an approval for all of the expenditures. Consider review, yes. Uh, motion for acceptance by Mr. Houston, uh, second by D. Wells. Yes. For the record, all are in favor? Aye. Uh, aye. Uh, motion uh, it passes. Uh, 15, consider and remove from the table the following item tabled at the regular meeting on May 23rd, 2018. Consider discuss for possible approval easement abandonment and relocation agreement for lot one 
Block 1 Industrial Park uh, Subdivision and 0 0.68 acre tract conveyed to PI Industrial Limited by Laguna Madre Water District by deed recorded in volume 15480, page 251 of the official records of Cameron County, Texas. Motion for removal from the table. If you don't take it off, then we're going to discuss in the next session. Yeah. We're just we're we're going backwards, action. so there's no action at this time. Right. Just take no action. Take no, no action, know. and then when you move to go into executive Come session, back. Make sure that you reference that agenda item if it's your intent to discuss it during the session. If we have to take it off, we have to take it off the table. Uh, we're not going to pay it. We're not going to pay it, but we're going to take no action. But if right. we come in after executive session, you, you have to take action. action. We have to take and approve, take it off the table, and put it on the next agenda uh, item. We're not going to table. All you can do is move the agenda item. Uh, that's all you're going to do is move the agenda okay. item. Moving on to 16, consider and discuss for possible approval, easement, and abandonment, and relocation agreement for a lot. That's the same thing. Same thing. Uh, 17, consider and remove from the table the following executive session items, table at the regular meeting of May 23rd, 2018. Don't we need to, these have to come off the table and then go into executive session, is that correct? Correct. Yes, sir, I believe I, the remainder of the agenda, with the exception of when we come out of the executive session, are executive session item. So you can, at this point, move to go into executive session to discuss whichever items you want to discuss. You can take your recess like you normally do and then we begin executive session. So these items need to come off the table. They no, need to just, just go straight to executive, just go straight session. To executive yeah. session. Item 18, uh, executive session <coughs> permitted by the Open Meetings Act, BTCA, Government Code Section 551001, Ed Secrets under Section 551071. Consultation with attorney, section 551072, deliberation about real property, section 5510748, one authorizing certain deliberations about officers and employees of the district to would be held in executive session. Item A, discussion on FEMA updates and related Hurricane Dolly 2008. Item B, discussion on Laguna Madre Water District ownership records in the vicinity of Woody's Lane and Port Isabel Wastewater Treatment Plant. Item C, discussion on legal matters with council concerning 6900 Pottery Boulevard. The 7200 Pottery Boulevard, item D, deliberation regarding the appointment, employment, valuation, reassignment, duty, discipline, or dismissal of district employee to a general manager. Item E, consider and discuss for possible approval, easement, abandonment, and relocation agreement for lot one, block one A, page one industrial park subdivision and a 0.68 acre tract conveyed to PI Industrial Limited by Laguna Mighty Water District by deed record in volume 15480, page 251 of the official records of Cameron County, Texas. We need a motion to go into executive session so at uh, 6.34 p.m. We have a motion made by Mr. Houston, seconded by Mr. D. Wells. Are all those in favor? Aye. Aye. They are. We are in executive session with a five-minute recess. We need a motion to come out of executive session at 7, uh, 7.30, uh, 7.28 uh, p.m. Uh, motion made by R. Wells. Second. Seconded by D. Wells. Are all those in favor? Aye. We are. Uh, we are out of executive session. Uh, item A, discussion on FEMA update related to Hurricane Dolly 2008. No action. Item B, discussion on... Water is it? No action. Item C, uh, direction on legal matters with council uh, concerning 6900 Pottery Boulevard, 7200 Pottery Boulevard. No action. Item D, deliberation regarding the appointment, employment, evaluation, reassignment, duties, discipline, or dismissal of two with general manager. Uh, need a motion to proceed as directed. So motion made by D. Wells. Second. Seconded by, I don't know who that was, uh, Mr. Herb Houston. Are all those in favor? Aye. Aye. They are. Any opposed? None. Motion carries. Item E, consider and discuss for possible approval, easement, abandonment, relocation agreement for Lot 1, Block 1, uh, Port Isabel Industrial Park Subdivision in a 0.68 acre tract conveyed to PI Industrial Limited by Laguna Rider Water District by Deed Records, Volume 15480, page 251 of the official records of Cameron County, Texas. Uh, need a motion to proceed as directed. So moved. Motion made by Mr. Avalos. Second. And seconded by R. Wells. Are all those in favor? Aye. They are. Uh, none opposed. Motion carries. Meeting is adjourned at 7.29 p.m. Thank you, everyone.